Hi there, my name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to solve equations with negative fractions. Here we have a nasty looking equation. We've got negative p plus 3 over 2 equals negative q over 6. And what we want here is to solve for p as a function of q. And you might think that having negative fractions would mean that we have to do something special, but really negative fractions, just like any other operation, they can be done and undone as long as you follow certain rules. So, since we have a negative sign on both sides of the equation, we can multiply by negative 1 on both sides to cancel them. And we're left with p plus 3 over 2 equals q over 6. You can cancel negative signs as long as you do it on both sides of the equation at the same time. So next, let's multiply both sides of the equation by 2 so that the left hand side is no longer a fraction. Multiply by 2 here and multiply by 2 here. These 2's will cancel We'll be left with p over 3. But what happens on the other side? Well, first you could write it as 2 times q over 6. But note that 2 over 6 is the same as 1 third. Since 6 is 2 times 3, in fact, we can actually write it like that if it's helpful. 2 times 3, these 2's cancel and we're left with q over 3. Finally, we'll subtract 3 for both sides. And we're left with p equals q over 3 minus 3. And there's our final answer. Looked pretty ugly up here. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to deal with equations that have negative fractions.